I don't mind traipsing around the shops looking for a good bargain, but with online shopping, it makes it so much easier with thousands of products all in one place. You never know what you're gonna find because it changes all the time. Which is why I've started this new series on my channel where I'll be searching the internet from low to high, searching for the best budget beauty bargains money can buy. If you don't get it when you see it, you're not going to get it. You don't know what you're going to find, but you'll find something. For each of the videos on this series, I'm going to be logging onto different websites and shopping 10 of their cheapest products that they have to offer. For this first video, I went onto Beauty Bay and sorted all their products from low to high and purchased their 10 cheapest products. Now the products have arrived, I'm going to give you a review and let you know whether it's worth you spending your pennies on these products. I got this weight on my shoulder, it's slowing me down I don't know how it came about And why the world is spinning faster every night I feel I'm stuck in reverse Hello and thank you for clicking on this video As you can see by the intro, this is the start of a new series on my channel So the thing that inspired this video is I was shopping on Beauty Bay the other day And I don't know if I'm the only one who does this, I don't think I am But basically if I'm looking for something Sometimes I'll go on a website and say I want to try some new eyelashes I personally have like a price in mind of what I would pay for lashes So what I do is I go onto like eyelashes and I'll sort it by low to high and then look through up to like the price range that I feel comfortable with I can't be the only one who does this but by doing this and obviously wanting to save some money You do find that you get some dud items like especially on clothing websites You'll go on to say you want a new t-shirt you'll sort it by low to high and sometimes the ones in the low to high are the not so good ones They reduce for a reason however Sometimes you do find a really good bargain. So I thought why don't I go onto different websites sorted by low to high Test those cheapest products on the website and let you all know whether they're good or not Are they worth it? Are they just cheap or are they actually really good bargains? For my first video I'm going to be testing some products that I purchased on Beauty Bay So I went on there and I went onto the makeup and skincare category Then clicked low to high and purchased 10 of the cheapest products that are in that Category. I'm going to go through each of the products now and show you what I picked up I'm also going to do a review and show you some swatches There was absolutely no point in me purchasing these going this is what I purchased I need to be able to tell you whether they're good products or not Are they worth the money or are they just cheap stuff that's reduced for a reason? So we're going to get into the video and I'm going to start off by showing you what I got So I've got all of the products in here Like I said I have tested the majority of these and I'm going to be giving you a review I actually used some of the products to create this makeup look that I'm wearing I've got to tell you I'm pretty pleased with this one the fantastic thing about Beauty Bay is they actually give you a delivery note with the prices on usually when I do hauls I'm having to look up the email and how much it was but with this one I've got a list so the first thing that I've pulled out is this makeup revolution renaissance lip liner and this is in shade prime I'm glad I started off with this one because this is amazing. So I've seen these lip liners a few times before and just never purchased them. I think you do sometimes get drawn into that thing of thinking that if something's cheap, is it gonna be good or not? That's the whole reason I started this series. So this is a brown lip liner and I use this today. That's what I have on my lips now. So I mix that with the Peach Stock Lipstick by MAC and Peach's Makeup Dream on lip gloss. And let me tell you, it did not disappoint. The consistency and the formula of this product is beautiful. It's very creamy, very pigmented. The nib on the end of the pencil is really, really good. I am so impressed by this. And this lip liner was £2.50. £2.50. I know. Like... What? And it is so good. So this one is definitely a win that we're starting off with. This one up is a skincare item. And I picked up this Holika Holika Strawberry Sheet Mask. So Holika Holika I've used before. If you watch my channel, you will have seen me using products. I love them. They are brilliant. I've never had a dud product from them ever, literally. I've tried plenty of them. I've actually tried this strawberry on before. It smells incredible. It's very hydrating. These are brilliant. And this was £1.95, which... 
£1.95 for a face mask is so good. I'm really impressed with this. I would definitely recommend this. And this is definitely another win. The next thing up is this Wet n Wild single eyeshadow. So this is a glitter eyeshadow and this is in the shade Brass. I wasn't too sure what I was going to think about this, but Wet n Wild products are really good. I'm pleasantly surprised with the consistency of this. I thought it would be more like a shimmer and it's actually really creamy eyeshadow. So it goes on really creamy. It's really pigmented. It's a beautiful shade of gold. Sometimes gold shimmers can be the really wrong shade and they look really cheap. This one isn't. It's a beautiful shade. If I was using this on an eye look, I would probably put down a gold eyeshadow and then put this glitter over the top and you would have a popping glitter eye look. And I'm going to rate this as another win. Three out of three so far on the win side. And that was only £1.95. So you ain't complaining. The next thing up is a product that I have never even seen before. This is the Yes 2 Vitamin C Hair Clay Mask. So obviously we all know about clay masks for your face, but I've never heard of a hair one. I'm not too sure how this is going to turn out. I actually washed my hair yesterday, unfortunately, so I haven't tried this out. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do this on my Instagram story. So if you don't follow me on Instagram, I'll put my Instagram on screen now. Follow me over there and I will review this on my story. So this is by Yes 2. I imagine this is going to be good. I just don't know how the clay mask bit actually works says it's brightening um so we'll see we'll see how that turns out so the cost of that was £2.95 but yeah we will see let's see how we get on with this back onto makeup for these next couple of products so this is the revolution pro supreme dip liner so this is a black liquid liner so this was the cheapest thing in the haul this is £1.75 I think I do definitely have pros and cons with this product so it's very black it dries down very black sometimes they don't dry like a true black and you end up having to put some extra products on you don't need to do that the actual formula of the eyeliner dries down really quickly and it's easy to work with the only criticism i would have on this one is that the the actual brush the eyeliner brush is very is quite stiff i don't know if i would reach for this over my gel liner um that i usually use my maybelline one or the aoa studio one that i've been using recently i prefer gel liner though so it could be that i just don't vibe with this as much because it's a liquid liner. I feel like I should put this as a fail, but I also don't feel like it's a win. I'm actually wearing this eyeliner now. Don't get me wrong, it does look good. I think for the sake of the video, I'm gonna put it as a fail. And yeah, but it feels wrong to do that. So I'd probably fall, I'd probably fall in the middle, but more towards the fail side. So yeah, we'll leave it at that, otherwise I'm going to carry on. Next thing up is another Wet n Wild product, and this is the Wet n Wild Colour Icon Coll Eyeliner. This is a black pencil eyeliner, and I really like this. I really like it. I don't know what else to say other than that. It's very creamy, it's very pigmented. The pencil isn't too harsh. Sometimes with pencils, I can find them to be a little bit rough, especially for your waterline. You want it to be nice and soft and gentle on the eyes. It's very black. I've actually got it on now. I'm really pleased with this. I mean, as well, look at the size of that. How long is that gonna last you? Like, that is literally gonna last you ages. That's so much bigger than normal eyeliners. And this was £1.95 again. A lot of the products in this are actually £1.95. Um, I'm impressed with this. This is a win for me. This next one is a Wet n Wild lip liner, and this is in shade Brandy Wine. Again, this is a huge lip liner. The consistency of this I really, really like. This is another brown lip liner. This one, I would say, has a slightly purple undertone to it. I prefer something that's a little bit more true brown, but this with another peachy nude lipstick would look really, really good. That again was £1.95, so I'm gonna put that as a win. Like, it's not my favorite thing in the haul, it's one of them really good lip liners that you will reach for. Um, yeah, I'm pretty pleased with that. So this is the next Holika Holika product. This is another sheet mask. This is the pearl sheet mask. I haven't actually tried this one yet. I've tried quite a lot of their sheet masks now. I've not tried this one. I've never been disappointed with any of them and I can't imagine that this one would be disappointing either. They're very hydrating, really effective. And again, this was £1.95. I will try this again on my Instagram story as well as the hair mask that I mentioned earlier. And I'll let you know on there. So if you're not following me, make sure you do. But yeah. Pretty pleased with that again, can't complain. So I also picked up some lashes. These weren't actually in like the lowest section of the whole makeup category, but I knew that I wanted to try some lashes and so I went onto the lashes section, sorted that by low to high and picked up these. These were one of the cheapest ones. So these are the Dauntless Lashes, Triple Threat False Lashes and these are in shade Savage. It's not shade, Demi. 
it's not a shade, it's a style, style savage. These look so good. I haven't tried these today just because I want to save these lashes for a bit more of a dramatic look and the look that I chose to do today is a little bit more toned down, shall we say. These look really, really good. The lash band looks great on them. I can't wait to try these and I'll be using these in a future video as well. And the price of those was £3.25, which I am I'm really pleased with. I think I'll probably pick up a couple more of these for my kit. If I'm doing a bit more of a dramatic look, it'd be really handy to have these in my kit. So these are a win for me. Obviously, I've not tried them on, but you can usually tell when you get a lash whether it's going to be a good one or not. And these look like really, really good ones. So we're down to the last two products now so I purchased 10 in total this is the bubble tea cleansing hand gel and this is in the scent peach so it does say on here don't drink me I, I think who I mean who would drink who would drink a hand sanitizer some people probably would wouldn't they I'm going to review this with you right now I just need to pick the tin foil thing off there we go Oh, oh, that smells like a cocktail. Mm, yeah. Oh, that smells really good. It really, really smells like a cocktail. Kind of making me want, want a cocktail now. And the cost of that was £2.50. Hand sanitizer is a lot more readily available now as we're sort of coming out of the worst of it. It contains 70% alcohol. The smell is beautiful. It's a really good smell. It's another win for me, another win. Oh God, I love it here. And then the final product is this Yes To Beautiful Paper Mask. You heard me right, this is a bum mask. A bum sheet mask, yeah. It's for your bum, it's not for your face. I was, when I saw this I was like, what? Surely not, surely not. It claims to make your booty appear tighter and lifted. It says, gently unfold the two adorable heart-shaped masks, place one on each cheek as pictured, adjust to fit your gorgeous tusha and don't forget the selfie. Obviously you can see this is still in the packet and I haven't actually tried this yet. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna review this with you now. I'm just gonna pull my skirt up and show my bum and then I'm gonna- Say what? <laughs> Oh gosh, I am not about to go reviewing bum mass on my YouTube channel. I am sorry, but I'm not. It says don't forget the selfie on the back. I'm not taking a selfie, my bum with a bloody mask on. I am gonna try this. I will do a little review on my Instagram. Might do this tonight actually, just for a bit of a laugh. And yeah, just see if it does give me a tighter and more lifted bum. I will let you know if I think that it looks any better. So yeah, again, don't forget to follow me on Instagram for that. And the cost of that was £3.50, so not too much money lost if it doesn't work. So that is all of the products on the first video of my new series, Budget Beauty Bargains. I've got to say, I think we did really well with this haul. I think we did really, really well. If there are any more websites or companies that you would like me to do this kind of video for, then please let me know. I think I'm gonna keep it more like beauty and skincare related for now and then. Probably in the future I'm going to expand it a little bit more to like fashion and home and stuff. I hope that you enjoyed this video, I hope it's a good idea, I think, and I really hope I'm not the only one because otherwise I'm just come on YouTube and told everyone that I'm a cheapskate and that I like to sort all the websites that I go on by low to high and only buy the cheapest. That's not what I'm saying though, I don't only buy the cheapest, I just like it to be a little bit more within my price range. As we've seen today, you can get some really, really good beauty products for a bargain price. So thank you very much for watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, please don't forget to like and subscribe. I hope this new series is going to be something that can stay for a while on my channel. So yeah, thank you very much for watching and I hope to see you here again very, very soon. Thank you. I always know that I'm gonna spend a few hours in here, at least, cause you, you can't miss it. Let me feel your love again. Cause I've been running round in circles screaming out your name.